The 2020 census is less than a year away, and the Census Bureau's operations are starting to get ready. And the head count could have big implications for the state of Texas. Send it over to Robert Hadlock with Alyssa Gord for a look at why. Yes, yeah, so Alyssa was at the Texas Demographic Conference at UT Austin today where folks who study population had a lot to say. Alyssa, tell us what they're saying over there. Well, Robert, we all know that Texas and cities like Austin are growing, but these researchers are interested in how that will impact both the 2020 census and the future of the state. Here's some of what they expect to see. Metropolitan areas like Houston and Dallas top the charts for the percent growth in population in the country from 2010 to 2018. And Austin is the city with the top amount of growth. The Hispanic population in Texas is growing across the board. Demographers say it will be especially important to work with Hispanic communities to make sure that they are counted. The future of Texas is tied to its minority populations and how well they do is how well we all will do. This is just the hard demographic facts of what we're doing and, and uh, a great deal is at stake for us uh, in the state of Texas uh, with minority populations. If and Alyssa, it looks like the representatives of the U.S. Census Bureau were at the conference today. They were, and I actually got to talk with the director for the Denver region of the U.S. Census Bureau, which is actually the region that oversees Texas. She said because the Bureau is keeping track of all of these growth and demographic changes, they plan to add 26 offices in Texas, including one in Austin this summer. They're also opening up applications for a lot of different positions to help out with that count. We are looking at the lowest unemployment rate that we have had since before the 2000 census. So what we're really looking for is those individuals that don't know they want to work for us. So we are targeting people who are just graduating and they need some work experience. We're a great employer for them. Uh, those individuals who are newly retired, but they are still want something to do. And now next week, the Census Bureau will actually start hiring for what are called listing or lister positions. What is a lister? What do they do? So the listers will actually be on the ground and looking out for the addresses that the Census Bureau has. The Census Bureau keeps track of where they think people live, but those listers will be helping with the process of going out and checking to see if those addresses actually exist where they're supposed to. That's a big job. A lot of people, uh, I'm sure they're going to need for that. Uh, when can we see your full report? We have that on KXAN.com. I'm working on adding to it right now. Terrific. Melissa, thank you very much for joining us.